healthy snack ideas uh, to support your gut, to minimize bloating, and to balance your blood sugars. And blood sugar has such an important role in hormone balancing and uh, weight management and a healthy digestive system. So I've got 15 great snack ideas here. Now the idea really is not to be snacking all day long. You really want three to five hour window between your main meals. But if you do get to that hangry, frazzled, tired feeling um, and you have a slump in energy in the, in the afternoon, like two, three o'clock in the afternoon, then having healthy snacks can help manage your blood sugars. The key would be to have fat and protein at every meal and having fat and protein earlier in the day can help manage steady blood sugars. But if you are snacking, really avoid biscuits, cakes, crisps, chips, um, and processed sugars, because of course that's going to insulin resistance. Now, the way we can check if we have uh, a resistance to insulin is if our hip to weight, waist ratio is um, one to one, you really want that hip to waist ratio, um, hip to uh, hip to waist ratio to be 0.8. So you do want your waist being a bit smaller than your hips. Right, 15 really good ideas here. So in the kitchen, firstly, here is a slice of the menopause cake. Okay, I recommend for anyone, ladies particularly, over the age of 40, to have a slice of this cake a day. Now it's it's probably wrong to call it cake. It's more like a bread. Um, and it's packed with seeds and uh, a couple of nuts. It's got more nuts in it. It's got all the seeds, pumpkin, sunflower, hemp, sesame, um, uh, linseeds. And it is not sweet. So it, it uses coconut meal and it's very, very good for helping balance blood sugars. I also put cinnamon in. Cinnamon is so, so good. Think about cinnamon in everything. You can put cinnamon on your vegetables, your um, cauliflower or sweet potato goes really well with you could have cinnamon on apple you could have cinnamon in nut butter you could also have cinnamon in your smoothies because what cinnamon does is amazing herb that helps you balance your blood sugar so having a smoothie in the morning that has got good fats and good protein hemp protein hemp seeds some good oils whether it be hemp oil coconut oil but also half a teaspoon of cinnamon can really help balance your blood sugars. I absolutely love seeds, seeds of all sorts. They are very good for your omega-3, omega-9 balance. So I do always have a pot of seeds in my kitchen. Here I've got, again, sesame, hemp, sunflower pumpkin seeds and I lightly roast these uh, and then I drizzle them with uh, a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of tamari which is the uh, healthy version of soy sauce it's a fermented soy product but it's gluten free and I always have a jar of these in the kitchen because they're really quite good just to have a handful for a snack late in the afternoon very good for when kids come home from school as well I love having nuts handy uh, walnuts and Brazil nuts, very good for balancing blood sugars. Again, good source of fat and protein, very good for your hormones, very good for cognitive health. So if you're struggling with brain fog uh, and memory loss, then having a small handful of walnuts or Brazil nuts late in the afternoon can be very beneficial. Uh, look, I love, um, I love my leafy greens. So in all of my protocols with gut and hormone healing, I include leafy greens. So these are um, pea shoots. There's some bitter herbs, bitter like watercress, broccoli sprouts, some baby kale and some rocket. So nice and bitter, a handful of those late in the afternoon or make sure you're having those for breakfast and lunch. Very good for balancing the blood sugar. If you're one of these people that gets quite hangry and you feel almost dizzy with hunger um, because of 
uh, you know, a, a, an irregulation of your blood sugar, then I do encourage you to try as a snack oat cakes. Just having one oat cake with um, some nut butter is a very good snack to help you balance blood sugars. What else have we got here? Frozen grapes. You know, they're delicious. They're so refreshing as a summer snack where, you know, the weather's warming up, but just having a container of frozen grapes in your freezer can be great. Kale chips. I think you've seen me make kale chips before where you just can rub the, rip all the kale off the stalks and massage that in with some tamari, some paprika, um, and, and dehydrate that or pop that into the oven on a very low temperature. It's a delicious snack. Even granola, you know, homemade granola with a small pot of um, chia seeds can be very good. Again, that you're getting that good fat and protein, which will help keep you feeling full. Smoothies, I do love my smoothies. Have a look in the guide. You've got some recipes there to follow. You know, even baked potato um, wedges or baked potato fries can be dry fried and uh, or they can be cooked using you know without oil and they're a very good way to um, to, to manage your blood sugars and sprinkle that with cinnamon so put cinnamon in absolutely everything my absolute favorite essential oil for balancing blood sugars is um, smart and sassy and I do encourage you if you're trying to lose a little bit of weight and you're you know you're concerned about the belly bloat and you're concerned about cravings then having five drops of the smart and sassy in a veggie cap these veggie caps they're empty vegetable caps um, you can put five drops of that oil which is grapefruit peppermint uh, cinnamon and you can put five drops into a veggie cap and have that you know once or twice a day which will really help balance blood sugars my favorite supplement for balancing blood sugars is chromium uh, but also making sure you're getting plenty of magnesium and zinc and your fat soluble vitamins like a and D, very important. Oh, one last thing, uh, olives. I love having olives around. They're a really good source of fat, um, very tasty, nice and savory. So having a handful of olives um, for lunch will help you stay fuller for longer and help manage those blood sugars. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, I'd love for you to subscribe and you know you can stay tuned in to other tips from my kitchen uh, and if you're watching in uh, the Facebook group the thriving thriving gut health group for over 40s please if you're watching on replay hashtag replay and if you've got any questions I'll be doing regular um, lives here on a Friday at lunchtime so if you've got any questions you can tune in and ask me questions and I will be happy to answer them at that time Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.